Good morning, good morning. How are ya? Rise and shine, my friends. It is 8 o'clock on the dot on a Sunday morning. I'm Wesh 2. First warning, meteorologist Eric Burris. This is Coffee Talk. We get together seven days a week in the morning. Check in, see what's doing in the world of weather. And let me just tell you something. It is stunning outside. There's a live look from our tower cam. I feel like I need to keep my voice down. I don't want to wake the folks up here. That's New Smyrna Beach. Oh man, how pretty. Daytona Beach, maybe a little hazier, but still lovely. Heading over to the port. Oh man, I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like this is, this is where I want to be right now. I want to be sitting there having some breakfast, feeling that salt air. Oh man, it's nice. Melbourne, let's check in, see what's done. Ah, this is one of, this is one of the last of our old tower cams. It looks trash. Need to go out and swap that thing out. Uh, Orlando International Airport Tower Cam, gorgeous. I'll add that there are already some pretty decent delays at Orlando International Airport. Look at that. 171 flights on time, 47 delays, and six canceled flights. And adding to that, knowing that the FAA is talking about a capping delay program <clears throat> later today. So we're probably going to see those delays really building um, through the next few hours time, just being honest with you. All right, let's head into Orlando and see what's doing. Enough of the airport. We're all hanging here. It's just too pretty. There's downtown Orlando looking fantastic. Let's head to the tourist district, see what's doing. Oh, Disney Springs, you're looking good. Not breaking my heart. Downtown Orlando from another vantage point to varies. Looking good. And last but not least, Ocala looking great this morning. All right, first warning, live Doppler radar. Not a ton to see here. All right, let me put this into motion. And these showers kind of weakening. But I am showing this to you because there are showers generally moving in our direction. <clears throat> and those showers have the opportunity from time to time to, yeah, bring us a little bit of rainfall. Temperatures out the door. Look how pretty that is. 62 degrees in Orlando. It's 58 in the villages, 55 outside in Ocala. Today, our 12-hour forecast looking good. 70 by 11 o'clock, 74 degrees our high temperature. But don't forget, I you know, I don't mention it very often, but like right there, big old wind today. 15 20 mile per hour winds gusting even higher than that. It's going to be a mess. Yeah, that's going to be a windy one, but at least it's beautiful. So with that, I say good morning to you. How are you? Yukon, Stacy, Bobby, good morning. Good morning. Yukon says, actually, don't wake me up and sleeping in today. Would uh, wake a bit here and there with you and Christine on air. Well, thank you. I woke up. I didn't sleep. I maybe got an hour. It was a rough it was a rough night in the old Burris house. Not for anything other than the kids didn't want to sleep. Yeah. Lou says, Good morning, coffee talk. <clears throat> Happy Palm Sunday. It is Palm Sunday. Good morning to you. Good morning. If you're heading out to services, we're looking good. Chris says, change that tower cam, replace it with a 4K model. Listen, we're not broadcasting in 4K. Um, coffee talk could broadcast in 4K. I have a 4K camera on my laptop and on, um, I love it, I love it, I love it. What's the wind speed? Oh, it's, it's, it's gusty. It's, yeah, it's gusty. So the forecast is 15 to 20 miles per hour. Um, let's look at <clears throat> the winds right now. Ba, 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 ba. Where are you? All right, here's a look at the winds right now. And remember, it's usually pretty quiet this time of day. We're already running 10, 15 miles per hour. So yeah, it's it's going to be one of those. Yeah. Um, signal keeps dropping. I have zero dropped frames on my side. So if there's... If there's drop frames, maybe it's your connection. I don't know. It, it, I have zero drop frames. I have 0, 0.0 dropped frames. So everything's good on my end, y'all. I apologize. Um, all right. So a little breezy this morning. It's going to be straight up gusty through the day today. And I'd mentioned those coastal showers. So let's do this. Let's take a look at Futurecast, but let's add in the wind speeds, okay? 
So here we are kind of running with gusts of 20 miles an hour or so. Uh, through time, here's 10 o'clock, and you see some of those coastal showers. Nothing too strong, but notice those gusts running 20, 30 miles per hour, right? It's it's going to, you know, short of howling, but it's going to be up there for sure. Uh, 4 p.m., there's the winds continuing, 5, 6 o'clock, staying gusty, and that's going to continue through tonight. So it's going to be, for sure, a breezy, breezy setup. So if you've got plans to be out and about, listen, heading over to the Magic Kingdom, for example, it looks like it's a lovely day. Whatever your plans are, please go and try and do something outside. Do something with your life, huh? It's a gorgeous, gorgeous day. Betty says, stalls began the minute you mentioned 4K. Oh, that's funny. Frank says, it's Spectrum for you. Yeah, I we're I don't know. We're on some sort of a massive internet line here, and I know we've got backups, but I've got zero drop frames. Usually, when it's on my end, that dropped frames number goes up real quick. So at least I know it's not on my end. Is this one of those things where I get to say, it's not me, it's you? Like, it's like dating, but it's, it's listen... It's, it's not me. It's you. Definitely you. Uh, Patty says, it's nasty and blowing 30 out of the northeast of Flagler Beach. Speaking of Flagler Beach, I didn't even think to go over here and look at the weather stem camera up that direction and see what the conditions are looking like. I mean, it's you can definitely see the camera bouncing around a little bit. This is the weather stem camera marine land. Yeah, I mean, the, the wave action is definitely picking up. So if you're heading to the beach, you know, and I said this yesterday, and I, I hope folks listened. If I mean, it, look, if you didn't, it is, it's, uh, it's on you. If you're wanting to go to the beach, yesterday was the better day. The wave action was still bumpy, but the temperature was warmer, and it's not as gusty as it is today. Today is rough, rough even inland for lakes. Um, not, not, not a great forecast to take the boat out. Yeah. Is the wind the reason for delayed flights? No, it's, it's more just a lot of volume and not just here, but across the entire, entire kind of national airspace system. Yeah. Uh, will the wind affect a flight from Melbourne this afternoon? I mean, the winds are there. It's not going to be the wind that is a problem though for you. It's going to be the overall national airspace system. It's going to be a mess. Yeah. Good times, right? Good times. Nonya's asking about Easter Sunday. So I've got you covered. You ready? Here's your first look. At, I mean, unless you saw it on the news, but here's your first look at your Easter Sunday forecast. Uh, I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised. Yeah. A nice cool morning, some 40s perhaps, north and west of town, mid 50s in the metro for your sunrise service. Midday plans were getting warmer with readings into the lower 80s. And for dinner time with the family, it's going to be beautiful. It's just going to be beautiful. Frank says, you're great, Mr. Eric Burris, meteorologist. Well, thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. Uh, Cheryl says, it's a great morning here in Brooksville. No wind here. Yeah, yeah. Hearst doesn't have some advanced satellite internet interlink between brain... Tra no, what? Blah. No not that I'm aware of. Yeah. Spring break is over. It is. I'm sorry. Does it still look like a rainy day on Thursday? Andrew's asking. So, yes-ish. Here's a look. I, let's start here with Central Florida's certified most accurate seven-day forecast. Let's start as a jumping point, and then we can, we can move on from here, okay? So, the answer to that, the short answer is yes. There's still thunderstorms in the forecast. And, and if, you're, if you're kind of wondering what's the... Of course, I didn't do it right. Hold on. Burris, you're an idiot. Fix that. Thank you. All right. Here's the deal. Storm system from the Gulf of Mexico kind of cruising through, helping to bring in showers. The issue here is that, yes, Thursday we've got that storm system, but the models have not yet figured this whole thing out. So how can we look? Let's do it. Let's compare. First off, uh, notice both models on Wednesday are cloudy. All right. But the American model on Wednesday is trying to bring in some decent rains, especially in our western areas, right? Through the day, and then it kind of clears it out Wednesday night. 
And then into Thursday, we start to see more of these showers sneaking in on the uh, European model, where is it still raining on the GFS? So both models have not come into full agreement yet. They're trying to figure it out. But until they do, what I'm seeing based on this kind of through this lens is GFS wants to go with plenty of rain on Wednesday, European does not. Then both models want to go with plenty of rain on Thursday. That's why what you'll see is the mention of showers on Wednesday, lower chance because the models haven't figured it out yet. And then on Friday, a higher chance because of the higher confidence there. So that's kind of what we're looking at in terms of timing and all that stuff. We, we still have to dial it in. We're not there yet. All right. May the wind be at our backs. Stations, please. Yeah, I know that one. That That's, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yukon, I'm, I'm quickly loving this little thing that you're doing. <laughs> when does the rainy season start? We are not there yet. Although it's, it's crazy to think it's March 24th. I mean, the rainy season starts in May. I'm finding the graphics. Wet season... Start dates. All right, there you go. There's the wet season start dates. Usually mid-May, it can be as early as, the earliest was early May. The latest was July. That, that, I remember that year. That stunk. So yeah, um, May. But, you know, we're almost to April, and April's a big month in Central Florida climate. Um, for example, here's a look at the Central Florida Almanac for the month of April. All right, average high temperature, we're already at 80, so there you go. The average high temperature at the beginning of April is 80, we're already there. Average high temperature by the end of April, 85. Tropical systems can form, and usually the first 90 degree day is in April. Although, did we already get there? Do I feel like we already did? Stand by, checking. Stand by. Daily data listing, max temp, MCOTHR. Yeah, we did. March the 9th, we hit 90 degrees. I thought we did. So we already have that one beat. Good times. Good times. Uh, is that a juice drink your morning? No, no. Whiskey drink. He drinks a vodka drink. He drinks a lager drink. He drinks a cider drink. No, it's a, pro it's a protein drink. Songs that remind him of the good times. Songs that remind him of the bad times. Anyway, sorry. 1996 called. They want their song back. Uh, where's the troll that you called an idiot? Let me add him. Did I call somebody an idiot? Am I to the point in my life where I do that and I don't even realize? Pat over on YouTube says, Yay for good weather for egg hunting. My daughter is so excited for this because she's watching me stuff 400 plus eggs over the last few days. That's a lot of eggs. Wow. Uh, Joanne will be able to watch Coffee Talk every morning live starting on Thursday for six weeks. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Why you got to do that? My mom is flying in that day. Are we talking about Thursday, Kelly? It'll be fine. Some showers will be fine. You said Friday rain. Didn't you mean Thursday? I did. Am I that tired? Listen, y'all, let me tell you, let me tell you, I, I struggled, man. I didn't sleep, but maybe an hour last night. Alexander didn't take a nap, which meant that he went to bed early, which then meant he woke up at like midnight and then at 12.15 and then at 12.45. And at one point I was like, I'm going to go to work. Like, I'm afraid I'm going to sleep through my alarm. Uh, so setting the record straight, if I messed it up, my apologies. A few sprinkles. Some models are saying showers on Wednesday. Have to figure that out. Thursday's the wet day, then clearing out Friday. If I messed it up, a thousand rounds of apologies. Lauren's asking, speaking, excuse me, speaking of wind, do you think the wind is too high for the air show today? It's a lot of wind. There's a lot of wind. I wouldn't be too confident about doing an air show. Yeah. Um, I'm new to Central Florida, Agoya, David Green. I'm new to Central Florida. What causes the rainy season? 
It's a really good question. So think of, did you ever learn in, I'm going to do this so like archaically, it's not going to be beautiful graphics. I don't know that I have. Maybe we do. Hold on. Let me look. Wet season starting. Okay. All right. So this is going to be the most archaic version of an explainer. But essentially, no, that's not it. I was just looking. No, that's not it. All right. Forget it. Let's just do this. Let's do this the easy way. Stand by. When you're directing and talking and doing all the, the computer stuff, you're not going to get good stuff. All right. State of Florida. Ignore all the other stuff. What happens to cause the rainy season? Okay. Essentially, what ends up happening is the land, okay, the land starts to warm during the day. And as that happens, you basically generate a cold front. And the cold front comes in from the east coast and a cold front comes in from the west coast. They call them sea breezes. And as they come in, they kind of shovel, shovel, shovel moisture, shovel moisture, and then they slam into each other and explode thunderstorms. I need to make a graphic to show this better. Out of all the useless graphics we have, how did I, how have we not done this yet? We'll get there. I'll make something. It'll be, it'll be the best ever. Yeah. So rainy season, I'll get there. Kelly says, April is a big month because you turn 40 and I have tricks up my sleeve, millennial. Oh, dear God. No tricks. I do turn 40, though. Yeah. Um, definitely start, like, is it silly I'm starting this midlife crisis mentality? Yeah, you're only 40. You're a baby. I get it. But, like, my, my mother's not doing well. My father's been through the ringer, and, and it's just kind of causing me to really reevaluate priorities. You all are a priority. I adore spending each morning with you, but you know. Um, yeah, so there's that. Oh, you said the troll called you an idiot. Oh, I don't even know. I can't even remember. I'm so, like, head in the clouds. Ah. Uh, so head in the clouds. It is Purim. That's right. That's right. Stacy's asking, is that what causes the storms to pop up out of nowhere? Yes. So imagine those sea breezes are moving and they're just kind of scraping moisture and scraping moisture. What'll happen is when we start to see those sea breezes, as a as a meteorologist, this is this is you're gonna make so much fun of this, right? As a meteorologist, what we do is we can see the sea breezes on our radar. And so as they're moving, we try to figure out where they're going to be moving. And we know wherever they hit, we try to figure out where they're going to collide because wherever they collide, it explodes out of nowhere. You're going to get a big old storm. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, that's how that works. Yeah. Joanne says your graphics are the best. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, that would be a good graphic for your school talks too. Agreed it would. Uh, UConn says, I didn't crisis at 40. 30, yes. Well, yeah. And, and, and I think, I mean, I think that each, each thing we definitely have to like get there, but like this year is a big one. Um, because I'm, you know, my mother is just not doing well. So, so that's, that's kind of where we're at. Similar to outflow boundaries, very similar to outflow boundaries. Yeah, Patty says, "Sorry, your mom isn't doing well. That is hard. Miss my mom every day." Yeah, thank you. Um, look, it's so many of us have had to deal with this, right? And and it's the natural progression. It's the way it's supposed to go. It doesn't make it any easier. Um, so thank you for that, Patty. And 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 for anyone who has lost, we've all lost. For anyone that has lost or is still grieving, I you know my heart goes to you. Um, I'll be there unfortunately, at some point in the not so distant future. So I appreciate that. Um, but anyway, on to, you know, let's, let's, let's talk about the sunshine. Okay. That's, that's, that's what we want to focus on. So we're not to the rainy season yet. <clears throat> um, and, and frankly, we're, we're not to the hot season yet, right? Like we know that these temperatures are, are, we're running out of these cool days. We know that for a fact. 
So we have to enjoy today while we have it, right? It's true. It's true. It's true. 74 today. It's going to be gorgeous. But we do warm. And notice even Thursday's cold front into Friday, we drop off a little bit and then we climb right back up. Like these cold fronts, fewer and further between, they're not as impactful, right? They keep, yeah, H. Bruce Poe says cold front stalling up north. It's true. These cold fronts are not doing their thing like they used to. You can tell we're in late March. Mother Nature is really fighting the fight, transitioning into spring. And before you know it, it's going to be hot as can be around these parts. You know, we're going to be doing the beaches all the time. You know, Joanne, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Carol, never easy. Never easy. All I want is, is peace for my mother. And I think that that's what any of us want for any loved one, right? So, yeah. Now, I put this graphic together a while ago. I don't even know if I can find the darn thing. But I was trying to find, like, when is the last, when is the last cool? No, that's not it. No, that's it. I, I don't know that I can even find it. I'm trying to find this graphic. I can't find it. I don't know. Anyway, it basically was saying that last two years, the last morning Central Florida had in the 40s was in March. Usually it's in like April, but but the point I was trying to make was that when I made this graphic, and I can't go find it now, but... The point I was trying to make is that we are absolutely at the end of the line, right? Like any opportunity to get any cool, we will enjoy, but it's going to be, you know, rarer and rarer, you know? That's that's the part of the weather pattern that we're in. So we have to enjoy what we've got. All right, questions, comments, concerns. Let's take a look at that seven-day forecast. Questions, comments, concerns? How we doing? Looking good? Looking good? Beautiful weather today. Beautiful weather the next couple of days. By the way, um, the Na the National Hurricane Conference is this week in Central Florida. I forgot to mention this. And the entire First Warning Weather team is going to be out there reporting live this week. I was just looking at my work schedule. And I'm like, well, this is, this is Fakakta. This is all over the place, so we'll be around for that. Getting ready. And then, of course, <clears throat> is it April or May when I head to West Palm for the Governor's Hurricane Conference? That'll be right around the corner. Yeah. So, good times. Yep. 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 All right. Question, comment. Matt, how's it looking for a big plane party in two weeks? Oh, baby, I'm excited. I'm excited baby. I'm excited. Um, huh? Oh, a lot. Uh, yeah. Yeah. There's also a Christina Watkins thing happening in two weeks. Um, I will, I will say that uh, I haven't looked yet. We should probably look at the sun and fun forecast and an updated look for Christina Please. tomorrow morning on coffee talk. What shift are you working tomorrow? Okay. So pop into coffee talk and remind me if I forget. Okay. All right. All right. But we need to look at that. I'm just, I've got a minute 59 until the Today Show cut in, so there's zero chance I'm going to have time to go dial that up. But we'll do it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Cindy, I'm sorry to read that. I'm sorry to read that. Is your birthday before or after Christina's birthday? When's your birthday? What day? August 30th. Yeah, she's August. I was like, you're not. She's young. She's younger than I am by years. Like. This, this woman, this woman doesn't look a day past 22 and a half, okay? Like, you know, she's good. Meanwhile, yeah, I'll be turning 40. Although I feel better now. I feel, huh? She'll be 34 this year. I can see all the grays. Meanwhile, I let my, I let my, I let my chin and my, you know, I did the vacation, no shave thing. I'm like, dang, man, like. It's, 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 it's red. It's ginger with a taste of silver now. Silver bells. 
I give all. All right, I got to go. We're 52 minutes away from the Today Show cut in, and I, I don't want to be late. That's, that's the TV thing. To be continued tomorrow morning. All right, thank you for hanging out for Coffee Talk. Be the sunshine in someone else's day. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. I hope that you have a great day as well, and we'll chat again tomorrow morning. All right, take care. Bye.